The roads and blocks lead to many locations in New York City. To some, it is their destiny to come here for a purpose, whatever that might be. Whether it's going to Hunter College or living in one of these glorious buildings near Central Park. Yet, for others, it's a 3,100 mile course. A running track that consists of 3,100 miles around one single block in Jamaica, Queens, New York City. This race was created by spiritual guru Sri Chinmoy, who was a great athlete himself. 26 mile marathon, and twice he competed in his own 47 mile race. This uh, running that we hold has a very special place in our manifestation, and this manifestation is nothing short of our aspiration. So even those who do not do or cannot do should pay considerable interest in our aspiration, in our efforts, which is self-giving to the Supreme. So especially our races where we run, where I run and the disciples run, that is absolutely necessary in our life of dedication. His disciples continued the race legacy, and in 52 days, runners must complete 5,649 laps. We quit our job just for this race. Yeah. <laughs> He's just tired. He's just tired. That's the only thing he can say. <laughs> Drake, he's from Italy. He's in the lead right now. And Arpine is his helper. Okay, I'll bring some water. All right, cool. Welcome back. So, I'm here in Jamaica, Queens right now. You know, saying a journey of a thousand miles begins with one single step. Well, this is exactly what's happening today. I'm approaching a place where Sri Chimoy disciples are running the uh, 3100 mile race around one block in Jamaica, Queens. I'm about to interview them a bit. And we're here at the uh, 3100 mile race. Hello, how you doing? Hi. Hey. Hey. All right, so these are the tents over here, all set up. This is oh Arpan. God, yeah, this is Arpan. How are he's you? Uh, he's um, a former runner of 3100, right? Yeah, I'm still a runner. Well, I, everybody has a different goal, you know, personally, but the, I mean, the goal obviously is to try to get 3,100 miles within 52 days, which is an average of just below 60 miles, like 59.6, you know, basically 60 miles a day average. That's the goal if you want to finish it. But I've done it twice. I've, I've done it in under 60, uh, 52 days, but one year I couldn't do it all the mileage but I still did the 52 days so my goal was just to stay in the race and experience the race even if you can't do 3100 so everybody had and some people do that here you know if you know you're not going to finish you could still go to 52 days yeah and so it's just to have there's many reasons why everybody has their own motivation to do it spiritually and physically you know but uh, I could talk forever about mine I, I, I don't want to do that right now because I have to take care of one of the runners. Okay. So it's nice to be here taking care of a runner or being part of uh, serving the race when, when I can't run it. So yeah. that's, that's the joy of being here. Or filming the race. 79! Woo! First day today. First day? Wow, very Wow, круто. <laughs> Вас вот попросили, да, или вы сами э, Это захотели? вот у меня подруга, а я ей помогаю. Вау, здорово, очень хорошо. Да, она да. меня научила, и теперь я тоже могу почти все. Я из Кампонг, Тайвань. Теперь я и Такасуми, мы живем в Японии. Для этого рейса мы закончили нашу работу. И мы вернулись в дом, потому что мы вернулись в дом. If we come here for two months race, we don't need to pay the rent house money. 
So we quit and we move house just for this race. Complete a thousand miles. Yeah. We'll continue. Feel good? Absolutely. Uh, I didn't mention this that this race is actually has been on the world record many times and actually deserves being on the world record many times because hey it's 3,100 miles around one block. Sasha, do you have anything to say? Hey guys. <laughs> All right. Hello hey, world. Hey. So what inspires you in order to like be here and help out the runners? Why do you do that? Uh, good question. I don't know. Maybe because happy. Because I'm happy to be here and I want to be happy. And like doing something such big and long, I can make this feeling of happiness and self transcendence also long for about 52 days <laughs> from morning till midnight. And what is uh, self transcendence? Well, for the uh, general public. What is self-transcendence is uh, to do what you usually don't do and even more like the things that is hard for you, the things that are you are not used to and which you know are beyond your capacities but you start doing this, you continue doing this and you understand that you can do all these things. Just like one minute. All right, so uh, they allow me for a couple minutes to enter into the van when the runners usually rest. Uh, so we're gonna be, we're gonna try to be quiet. All right. Hey, Biffin. Hey. Yeah, doing a little report. This is actually a van, a uh, uh, RV. It, uh, it's RV, right? It is. Yeah. Yeah. So it's RV. You take cross country. So we got one bed here. We got another bed right over here, so two runners can sleep here. Actually, there's uh, three beds, but this, but there's uh, a bunch of stuff over here. And we got Bippin, who uh, is helping out in the race. Hello. Yeah. Have you ran the race yourself? No. No. I've I've um, been one of the directors for twenty of twenty five years. The race took place. I had the pleasure of interviewing Sanjay Rawal, who is the director of the film. 3100 Run and Become, made in 2016 about the 3100 mile race and other forms of spiritual running that take place worldwide. And what inspired you to make that film? I've been a runner all my life and Sri Chinmoy himself was a runner and he advocated, you know, this, having the, when you strengthen your heart through meditation, he also felt that you needed to strengthen your body. To have a great spiritual life also meant paying attention to your physical, to the body, to its ability to be strong and to be fit. And so he was a runner, but he also advocated the idea of running as a way to get closer to the divine, to God. And I never really understood that until I started spending time at the 3100 mile course, because that's the power. That, that people have in order to, to, that's the power that they channel to finish this race. Well, this race is the world's longest running race, as folks who watch your, your video will know. And what people are doing out here is absolutely amazing. You know, it's unlike any other race in the world, people are pushing the boundaries of what anybody think is possible. So that was the main reason. It was just to try to capture the spirit of uh, what these guys are trying to do and what they are doing. And you come to race every day? I come to this race twice a day. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes to watch, sometimes to try to, to volunteer to help to do other little tasks around here. There's um, seven runners, but there's probably 40 or 50 people behind the scenes that are doing things from cooking to uh, medical to just running errands to make sure that these guys can run nonstop. Yeah, so right now, Right now it is raining, it is uh, about 8 o'clock in the evening, uh, slight rain, runners are going to be running until uh, midnight and they're going to uh, continue on tomorrow at 6 a.m. They're continuing to count the numbers, they're all doing their jobs very professionally and we'll be coming here to visit them again, to visit the runners, all the personnel again very soon. Definitely make sure to visit this location, it's in uh, Jamaica Hills. Uh, link will be in the description to the address on Google Maps. So definitely visit them, you'll get tons of inspiration. You'll get to talk to the runners, 
and personnel here. It's a very amazing spiritual experience, guaranteed. So thank you. <laughs> say bye. Bye, well, say bye. 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 All right. <laughs> Signing out, peace.